Ay. NBA dust, dunking down the double cuffs. Know a hoodie on, about as yellow as the fucking sun. Give her six cents, subway, bread doubled up. Hopping off the metro just to take another yellow bus. So the name of Okay, everyone, welcome back. It's now day three of Fashion Week. So day one, I didn't do anything because legit there was nothing to do. Not good shows that I like. Day two is what you saw yesterday, which was at your show. And then when I couldn't get in, you seen the run. The after party was pretty shit, to be honest. Like, it was the Elliot and Mila after party. And the vibe was really, like, techno-futuristic. Smoke everywhere and all right inside the club. So I was really tired. It was super cold outside of Saint Laurent. And it made me, like, super dead. So I just went home at one. Uh, today is the second day for me. And we're going to hit up different shows. Three for sure tonight. And maybe one before those three. I have very good outfit today it's gonna be fun uh, it's gonna be for a fun video so let's go okay so that's gonna be the jacket for today <laughs> this is fucking crazy it's diesel and uh, it has this like vomit kind of look but it, it actually looks very good then i'm wearing this balenciaga pants that i got from vinton just because they were too expensive otherwise playboy cardi cactus plant free market sweater and uh, i'm gonna have a moss hat thing as soon as i see my friend so i might pull it out for the paco Raban show and the balmain show and these are gonna be the shoes these are just normal rain boots got them from amazon 20 euros but they're fire so let's go let's do this i'm gonna go to undercover now because it's one of the shows that i've always been interested in and they do like some very different type of shit usually so i'll go to that one see if i can get in the outfit for the shows and for today is actually a quick outfit change i didn't like the white under so i'm just putting this stone island t-shirt on top of the hoodie and also i'm not bringing the glasses because i have to put my moss hat on top and i don't want to ruin them and put them in my jacket just to stay there for one show so I'm gonna wear them with another outfit uh, in the coming days. Okay, so this is the final outfit. I think it looks very, very good. I just put some glasses on because I like to have glasses and these I can put them away once I get the moss hat thing, so let's go. Okay, so I'm close to the location. You guys ask me all the time, how do I get the addresses and just legit ask people around. And most of the time photographers outside of the show, they have them because they have to shoot. So if you ask them kindly, most of the times you manage to get in, so. Try to do that and yeah, this is the location I believe. The venue is really beautiful. Okay, so right now there's a lot of people waiting. They still didn't open the doors. So I'm gonna wait for people to start going in. At that point, I'm gonna hit it up as well. Okay, so we made it in with the, with the classic. I'm with them. Okay, I got in, but just showing my fantastic pass. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a context. So basically, I just took a video of the girl's phone and then I edited the video. So I made sure it was a screenshot and I like cropped it and like I flipped it a little bit and then I just show it in front of the guard and they just let me in. Also, my videographer, he just showed <laughs> a white screen to get in and he did. So this one was pretty easy to do. So my friend made it in too, um, he just walked in, he told me, so pretty easy to get in this one. Okay, so we made it into the undercover fashion show. Uh, we're just gonna wait inside, there's not many celebrities yet, but uh, we're yet in another show, so it's fire as fuck. Okay, so I just grabbed a seat and a paper, so I'm just gonna move out the stickers so that I sit in between them and I don't sit on somebody else's spot. I'll show you what I did. So here we have 39 and 40. And here we have 38 and I just move them closer like so that I can sit in between. And I also got one of these so they would not stop me. It's a super cool venue by the way. Okay, so the reason I was talking to Taiga was that in the last fashion week, when uh, I lost the videos, I went to a club and Taiga left his scarf. So this is Taiga's scarf and of course I cleaned it, but um, he basically left it at a table at the club and I just asked him, yo, is this like, you left your scarf? And then the guy next to him started explaining how it looked and he can hear me saying, if you want it, I can bring it to you. And, and Taiga's like, nah, man, you good, don't worry about it. So that was a cool interaction. <laughs> I'm going back, I have a whole place. <laughs> no, it's not good. Okay, that's fine. Let's go, guys. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so we got the show walking out. Uh, I flirted with the fucking security. <laughs> That's one way to get into shows now. You just flirt with security. So it's weird. I got a mask now. I haven't tried it on yet. We need to take some pictures though. Okay, so I forgot to take pictures, so I'm doing them now. And uh, we're gonna go out. We cannot get into the backstage. Just like the security always catch me. So fuck it. I just grab our shit and let's go. Merci. Leo? Non, c'est pas toi. Désolé. J'ai rencontré un Léo que c'est un peu similaire la dernière fois. Bon. Ok, so. to the Dri Van Noten. I don't even know the name of the brand. That's how much I'm interested in that. So we're gonna go, it's right here. We're gonna try to see if we can manage to get in. If you go into this way, it's two for two today. And then we got three shows tonight, which are the Pakura Ban, Acne Studios, and Balmain. So if we do all five, well, I'm already a god, but we are even more like we reach star level. Let's go, otherwise they kill us and we don't get in. No. What the fuck is this? Okay, so I'm currently seated. I'll show you around. It looks nice. But yeah, nothing more than this. Let's see if I can zoom, on, zoom in on me. Okay, so the show ended. Uh, it was super cool. I don't understand anything about this shit. For the first like half, I didn't even watch the clothes because I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. So I'm gonna try to sneak into the backstage here. We didn't get to do that at uh, Undercover, so I'm gonna try to do it here. Otherwise, we just might hit Pakuraban right away. It's a little bit early for that, but nothing left, nothing else to do, so we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so the backstage is here, this side. So yeah. You want some wine? So we're looking for the models. I want to say hi to my girl. Um, if they're naked, I'm not gonna like talk to them. Managed to do it. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for the show, Dries Van Otten, and now we're gonna go home. The coolest shit ever, though. It, it doesn't look good, at least. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me with this shit, but uh, we're gonna go to the next show, which is Paco Raban, and uh, I'm not gonna try to get in with this, otherwise it's impossible. But I wanna get this inside, so hopefully we get in, or one of my friends get in as well so that we can get some footage but uh, this shit is very much like impossible to wear all the time so I have to like go back and forth on putting it on and putting it out it's super dope because everybody takes pictures but yeah it's kind of hard so we'll see what's up okay so I don't know if any audio got picked up but as I said the mask is something that I can wear only while I'm inside so I'm already sneaking in I don't want to have the, all the attention on me while I'm reading some shit but as soon as I'm inside I'm gonna wear it back and uh, I already did two shows today if you guys saw the way that I got into both of them was in one I just said I was with them to get the first check and then the second one I just took a picture of the phone of the girl in front of me so I just took a screenshot of that and I just showed that pass and they let me in and the second time I just walked in after reading a name as you heard so uh, yeah so same methods all the time they work the easiest one is just to sneak in but it's always the hardest as well so let's see okay so here's the venue okay so we got in a pass to Tokyo which is the building where Rick Owens is gonna be tomorrow so here you can see that this is gonna be Rick. We. Oui? So as I was saying, we got to the place where the Rick Owens show is going to be at, but Pakuraban is in the building right in front of us. This one. So 
we're gonna see how to get into that one. There's people already walking around there, so I don't know. I'm kind of tired. When you do this shit, like you really, really get tired, so you have to rest a little bit, otherwise you die. Okay, so I might have found actually the entrance. So I think I'm gonna go to the museum, which is right next to the show. And then before going out of the museum, I get into the show. This is my plan, but this is super cool. There's all the skaters here. So I'm in the museum right now. The show is on top of where I am. Uh, and we're just gonna walk around and see if I can manage to get into the show from here, you know? So right here, I tried to get in from the museum, but it was impossible. So I just went back to where the queue was and I saw there was many, many people waiting. I was, I was more than a child. And that is the best moment to sneak in because legit when there's so many people, you just have to really squeeze your way through someone and it's doable. Okay, so we made it in. There were no extra checks. <laughs> okay, so we made it in and uh, there's full amount of people so we just have to wait a little until we see it. I'm just gonna sit in the first one that I find and fuck it. I've been that little video. <laughs> Okay, so show just ended. I was next to Emma Brooks on the seat and you know, she's the most beautiful person I've seen in real life and I didn't even know her before that, but she's goddamn. Well, anyway, the show was super good. Uh, one of the best ones I think so far. I'm gonna get back my head thing, moss that I left. So I don't know where to go now. I think uh, Acne and Balmain are left and then I might just hit an after party, but I'm super, super tired. I made it in the backstage. This is my second backstage so far this is the board these dresses were super super good these are amazing I'm just gonna get a goodies bag I think these ones are empty. Okay, I found the food. Let's go get some muffins. Oh, some croissant. Shit, good. I ate. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, so now we gotta go downstairs. You know how Ace of Rocky would say, I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, then break the law. Okay, so basically I was sitting next to Emma Brooks the whole time, and I don't know who she was, but uh, I just basically hit up on her for the whole show. <laughs> and she gave me her Instagram, so <laughs> if you're gonna see that, I'm really sorry, you know. This shit, I could just do it for fun, and then eventually, you know, I cannot say that I snuck in while I'm inside the show. I'm not stupid. But, um, you're super fucking cool. I'm walking out through the workers area. Like, look at where I am. Uh, basically, I was in the backstage area, everything. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get the fuck out of this place. Yes. Let's go out. No, well, good show. Now we're gonna hit another one and then another one. Okay, so we're out of the show. Next one that we can hit is uh, Acne. To be honest, today has been crazy. I've done three shows so far, always managed to sneak in. Okay, so we just arrived at the Acne Studio show. I think I skipped a lot of the Pakora Ban just because I was talking to the girl and I was really in love with her. So 
I didn't get much more of that footage. Now we're gonna try to see if we can manage to get into this one. And if we don't get into this one, I'll go to a bar, edit, and then come back. Okay, so I just got it into the big line. Video of the phone of a person with the studio with the actual invite. So I'm gonna like edit yeah, it and watch straight from the airport. Leo, Leo, that's me. 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 Excuse me, can you move from this spot to just somewhere else? Absolutely. Thank you. So we made it in uh, with the mask. Is that alcoholic or not? Can you hold it, please? Yeah, of course. Like doing for a tour with a celebrity oh, okay. in an hotel. Which hot? Yeah. <laughs> you got your number? No, bro. <laughs> you have another one? Uh -huh. This shit, I cannot breathe. Yeah. Okay, so I made it in inside again. I just walked in. A friend of mine sent me a name. He was already inside. He sent me the name of some muddy seat, and uh, the guy asked me, "What's your name?" After showing my fantastic screenshot, that was super shit. And I just told him, and he found it, and then he let me in. So that's how I got in with my super mask. And now we enjoy the show. Okay, so Jared Leto is here. I don't know if you guys see it. You guys are probably gonna see it during the show. This is right in front of me. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a while now. Uh, the mask hat, the mask is like too much of a, a shit to wear. I like it. It's good for pictures, but other than that, that's it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Jim Morrison. So we're here, super cool interaction with Jared Leto. Basically, I asked the girl that was taking the video for the other guy to take a picture and a video with me. And I didn't want to really talk to him. I just wanted the picture because I didn't know what to say. And then at one point I told him, like, I love your hair. I love your, like, your style and stuff. And I'm like, well, you got curly hair, man. What are you complaining about? Jim Morrison. <laughs> that was super cool. I don't know why I said that, but it was super nice. <laughs> Okay, so Acne just ended. I'm not gonna even bother going the backstage because we gotta hit up the bomb main show. That's gonna be the highlight of the day. If I do that, we're five show in the fucking day. I got so much content I cannot even. I'm on it. Leo's vlog. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy Des. He's a photographer. He used to be at the Kanye show. He's the one that did the photos with me and Kanye. Bro, it's fucking lit. And uh, he's a legend. But yeah, right now we're on the queue to get out. Okay, so I've been here already two times. Um, I'm gonna try the same shit again, like I usually do, and see what's up. Okay, so I kinda got caught uh, taking a video of the guy's like iPad, so I think it's not good to go back. I think the girl also followed me back, so yeah, it's not worth it anymore. I'm also super fucking dead. I've done four shows out of five. I think it's good enough. Okay, everyone, so as you can probably tell, I'm back home. I am absolutely dead, legit. After four shows, I've never done this many in one day. I am absolutely crashed. I think I'm going to sleep right now, and then I'm going to hit up the Pakoraban after party, which I have the address to. But yeah, today, the highlight was just meeting Anna Brooks. She's so good. Like she, I just know. I just, I just fell in love with her, so. <laughs> I hope to see her again. Uh, she follows me now, so I'm happy for that. I don't care, to be honest. It's just that I feel like you need to be famous sometimes to reach this audience, and um, I'm getting there, so. But I don't really care. I just, I just want to have fun. I just want to live my life free. I'm not looking for fame. I'm not looking for anything. I don't care about this shit. I just want to show you guys that it's doable. If you have charisma, if you have confidence, I don't fucking care about being famous. It's the most bullshit ever. Nobody's like, what the fuck does famous mean? Just because people know you? I don't really get it. Um, I might be tired. That's why I'm a bit more complaining than usual. So I'm just going to rest and then go to the after party. And tomorrow is a big fucking day. So peace out, Leo. Play the fucking outro.